Greetings everyone, I'm here today with a guide on how to get the Bullard Twins gang outfit. So, there are six scraps that we're going to need to complete to actually wear the Bullard Twins outfit, and the first starts in Thieves Landing. You have to search a box which is located in a warehouse with two giant columns of pillowing smoke coming out of them, and that's right when you enter Thieves Landing, you'll see it to the right, right when you see the sign. You're going to want to make your way to the back of that building near the pier. You're going to want to walk up the stairs. And right in that room, you're going to see a chest beside a cabinet. You're going to want to open it, and that's how you get the first scrap. A lot of people are having troubles with this. It's not too hard. So just follow the instructions, and you'll be fine. So scrap two, complete a night watch job in McFarland's ranch. Now they only appear at uh, kind of dawn, night time of day, and it's right in front of the foreman's office. And you're gonna see the yellow X there. You're gonna run up to it, and you'll get the cinematic screen. And you'll have to follow the dog throughout the night, and eventually, and mine took a while. It took a couple minutes for my dog to find anything but when your dog does find something you're gonna have to take it out or uh, fix whatever's happening so uh, there's things like ranchers and kill wildlife like here gangs sometimes uh, and fights and if it's uh, if it's between people if you lasso them you get a you get some extra cash too at the end so if you want that want to do that then that's good too and for here I just killed the coyote I was trying to eat the chickens it got like one sadly and then you return to the foreman office and you're done so that is scrap too quite easy quite easy scrap 3 involves you winning a game of horseshoes at McFarland's ranch and the horseshoes emblem you can check on your map first of all uh, but if you still know where it is, it's uh, right north of where the foreman's office is, behind the medicine place, and uh, a little bit further behind your house. Now, horseshoes may be frustrating, but make sure to put the bet to $1, and it makes everything easier. That I, That's actually the difficulty. The higher you go, the more difficult it is. And at $1, it's quite easy. So, And if you're still having trouble, follow the tutorial at the beginning, and it's pretty helpful, but... Just pull back and then when you go forward, hit on it on the green, the middle, and you should have enough power to get near the middle bar thing. I don't know what it's called. Some horseshoes expert you need to uh, cue me in on that one. So once you're done that, you're going to move on to scrap four, which is claim Bullard Twins Gang uh, Bounty Alive. And to do that, you're going to need the lasso, which is from completing a Bonnie's mission. It's one of the later ones, it's fifth, I believe, where you have to break horses and such. And once you do that, you're going to want to go up to the foreman's office again, where you did the night watch job. You're going to press a B on the poster that's there. They appear between 7 and 9 a.m. You'll see the sheriff posted up, so you might want to wait a bit if you don't see it right away. And when you press B to look at it, you're going to see what gang affiliation they have, if any, and you're going to want to look for the Bullard Twin Gang affiliation. So once you do that, you're going to want to go find the guy. And for me, since this was my first bounty, I'm not sure if it's randomly generated or not, but mine is right there on the map. It's not too far, so I'm just going to skip it ahead here. I killed all his minions, and I just hog tie him, place him on your horse, and you're ready to go. Now when you're escaping, though, you're going to have some of, more of his uh, men on you, so you're going to want to take them out too. Uh, you can outrun them if you like, but they get quite fast since they're NPCs. So once you get them on your horse, you're just going to need to ride back to the foreman's office, and that's that. For me, for some reason, it didn't pop out that I completed the outfit. Uh, the outfit objective or the scrap piece so I checked it and it actually was completed so 
that happens to you, just go ahead and check it in your menus and don't rely on the in-game message down there because it might be wrong. I actually waited a couple extra seconds to see if it would pop up, but nope. So scrap 5 is to defend residents at Henning instead from the Bullard Twins gang. And it's relatively simple, but it's kind of random when they spawn, and I would suggest going to this location on the map I pinpointed. This road going to Armadillo is quite often a hot spot for this stuff, and you're going to want to see someone who's in distress, usually uh, signified by the blue on the map. And you just want to help them out, and you'll get your menu update. Finally, for Scrap 6, you're going to want to purchase the Scrap at the Tailor, and this is going to cost you a hundred buckaroos, so you're going to want to save up if you just started the game, or maybe wait until a bit later, and the Tailor is right at the north end of Thief's Landing. You just want to go in there when it's open, so you're going to have to wait for the daytime, even though it looks like night always in this town. I don't know why, maybe to give it some uh, dramaticness. Anywho. Once you bought the scrap from the store, you'll have your scrap 6 done, and subsequently you'll have the Bullar Twins Gang outfit in your possession. Now it looks quite similar to the typical bounty hunter outfit that you start off with, and uh, some additions you can notice is the red bandana on your neck, and that's about all I notice. But it looks pretty cool. Anyway, if you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe, rate, 